I'm just saying that this Five Nights at Freddy's fun game was requested by my good friend Sully and friends. Sully, if you're watching this, you're welcome. Just me and you. Okay, it's on. <clears throat> hey man, I heard you passed your job interview the other day, and if you did, congratulations! I'm really glad you decided to quit your crappy job at that fast food place. I mean, rude customers, low pay, and nasty employees. Who would want to work at a place like that? Nobody! But let's not keep rambling about rubbish jobs. Let us talk about how much of an improvement Charles Pizza Zone as compared to that rundown, crappy Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria, like the staff. The staff are very polite to our customers. We always do our best to keep the children's behavior under control. <laughs> you know what they say, service with a smile! And the pizza is always hot and ready, unlike Freddy's Pizza that, has, that had no heart put into it. The pizza was almost always served cold with a side order of bugs being cooked inside. Not only that, but the staff clearly only worked there for the sake of the money. Like one time I was at my nephew's birthday party and some brats pushed him away from the Pac-Man and he scraped his elbow upon impact. He was crying for help but the staff didn't seem to notice or care. Plus, it didn't help that the kids were laughing at him when he was in freaking pain. I am so glad that place was demolished last week. It closed in 1994 and stood abandoned for 14 years. Uh, okay. You know what? I think you get the picture. How about we talk about the animatronics instead? These animatronics are massive improvements over the uncanny characters from that damn pizzeria. The children don't seem to mind Ashley and Billy when they come down from the stage to meet and greet. We still get some crying kids, but for the most part, it's fine. However, at night, things change. What I mean is the animatronics get a little uh, glitchy when it's past 11 p.m. The engineers don't give a clear answer of why this happens. They explain to us that the animatronics were designed with a night mode that wasn't handled correctly and they're trying to get it fixed but in the meantime you have to monitor the cameras to make sure they're not getting too close to you. But when they do Shut the doors of them. However, don't leave them shut. You see, the power system is measured by how long you keep the doors closed and by how long you look at the cameras. So you're gonna need to keep track of your power meter, okay? All right, that should be everything. I hope you make it through your first night. Check those cameras and please don't drain your power. Otherwise the entire building will go dark, okay? Good night, and watch your back.
If you're hearing this, and you made it to day two, then good job! I knew that you would make it through your first day with no troubles. Anyways, today was pretty crazy. Uh, there was actually a fist fight against two moms. Crazy, huh? I don't know what caused them to snap, but from what I heard, one of their kids was taking a long time getting off the rocket ride, and the son of the other mom wanted to get on. I really don't know the exact reason, but it's not important right now, okay? I won't be talking as much as last time since Ashley and Billy be become more aggressive as the week progresses, but I did forget to mention two things, and one of them is the vent snare. This is used to block off anything that isn't supposed to be in there. Anything that wanders in will wander back out. And also, do you see that character in the prize center on the very left corner of the screen? Uh, that's Morton the Mole. This character is programmed to lead guests into certain arcade games, but when it gets quiet in his area, he goes to try to find where the people are, which is your office in this scenario. And if he gets in, well... Let's just say he will make your job very difficult, okay? Just check the cameras, and you'll have everything under control. Talk to you soon!
Ha, ha, ha.